Yo, what is good guys? This is Aziz with the Demonic and today we are going to be T4ing Van Brayer Fallen. Yes indeed, it has taken me ages to get this uh, up to T4. Um, I'm five carding it. Um, it's one of them, I'm never going to use him, but I feel like he's such a classic character, he deserves his own spot. Now I did start recording this video and as you usually see in my videos my battery bleeped my phone died so we'll pick up from where we left off um yeah to me you know he isn't the greatest card far from it but i absolutely love his artwork i, I think his artwork is probably one of the best personally I, it just really appeals to me. I mean, you've seen it on my YouTube. He's my uh, my sort of profile pick. Uh, I think he is awesome. I mean, and I don't know what it is. I, I just think he looks shit hot. I think, you know, like Van Braille in the very beginning of Heroes of Camelot was the card to have. It was Van Braille. You know, Tal has already been, you know, he was just crap from the start. Um, but there we are. Five carded T4 Van Braille Fallen. So let's enhance him. Uh, so, yeah, so then when Van Braille Fallen came out, it was just like, oh, wow. So, like I say, I'm not going to use him. Um, but, yeah, I just feel like he deserves his own six minutes of fame, shall we say. So, here we go. Five carded, over leveled, Van Braille Fallen. And what I'll do just to honour him, I'll stick him into a quick, uh, a quick deck, and uh, well, what's it called? We'll give him. That's pretty good actually. Uh, he was, I think he, what was he then? Nine, ten, eleven. I think he was 14th in health, considering he's only five carded, and Ogrim and uh, Sir Agravain are eight carded, and he's kind of competing with them. It's pretty damn cool. But anyway, let's just mix this up a bit. Also, I want to uh, take this uh, moment as well to shout out to a guy that I know called Lars, L-A-R-S, um, he designed something for me um, at the very end of this video um, so when I say my usual thank you thank you thank you blah blah blah, blah just hold on and wait till you see what comes at the end um, mad props to this guy um, he, you know he took his time out just to do it for me um, so you know mad mad respects and mad shout out to him um, sorry, I didn't even just heard that. I just farted. <laughs> um, yeah, and we'll just have a quick, uh, we'll have a quick battle. Just purely, like I say, just to honour Van Braille Fallen. Um, yeah, I mean, again, one thing I'm going to point out as well, which I'll point it out, uh, if I know, I won't point it out just yet. Um, let's just let me think what I'm doing here. Uh, oh crap, I can't do that, can I? Because I've got Valkrak in the first deck. Oh, never mind, we'll just... Uh... Yeah, we'll chuck the man in and we will chuck... Where's it going? Oh, what a penis. What am I talking about? Why am I even looking? She's in there. Oh, never mind. All right, let's just... Uh, we'll just chuck anybody in. Um, well, seeing as we're doing attack, we might as well chuck him in because he is the highest attack. So, let's jump into... Uh, so, going to the... No... Got actually no bugger it, I will go into the guild. Um what I'll do is See I always feel dead shady because I always feel like I'm 
singling out somebody when I choose them. So I'll do Arena Guardian because he quit a long time ago. Uh, so it just kind of makes it fair. Um, I'm certainly not trying to embarrass anybody or whatever. Or, you know, I'm not singling anybody out. I've said it before, you know what I mean? Don't take it so personal. <coughs> So we activated straight away and he sucked 280,000 off him, which is pretty good actually. I mean, that that can compete with, well, kind of compete with some seven star cards. That's uh, that's not bad at all, actually. Well done, Van Bro. I mean, obviously, this is a given. I'm, I'm not trying to prove anything here. Just uh, wanted to see him, see him in action. I mean, that first team just visually looks awesome. It looks an awesome team. That anyway, if I what I'll do really quickly, I will show you. This is what I was going to come on to. I will actually show you what I'm currently using since I got Vampire Morgana. Now. The Vampire Morgana obviously was a fantastic card to get, but it was kind of like a bit of a... I feel like it was like a guilt card because there was a glitch with Arthur the Ripper. And a few people managed to get loads of him and 8-card him, which was kind of annoying because a lot of people missed it. And it swings and roundabouts, but this is the thing. You know, again, also with people that are using bots and everything, you need to stop that shit, man. Because what is the frigging point? It takes all the fun out of the game and you're fucking it up for the rest. And as usual, Kabam don't give a shit. Anyway, as always, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. God bless your faces. Check this. <laughs> How awesome is that? Mad respect, lads. Thank you ever so much for doing that for me. Peace out, people.